Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on factoring general trinomials. Now, a general trinomial is a trinomial that has um, a constant in front of the x squared. So the video that I did previous to this one, there was no number in front of the x squared, and that's this video is going to be looking at a general trinomial. So if we have two factors here, we multiply them together, we have 3s times s, which gives us 3s squared, then 3s times minus 3, which gives us minus, whoops, minus 9s, and then we go here, 1 times s, so we end up with minus s, and then minus 1 times minus 3, which gives us plus 3. And again, the method, this method is the FOIL method, so the first, the outer, the inner, and the last. Right? So we just add these together, and we have 3s squared minus, so minus 9s minus s is minus 10s, and then plus 3. And noticing that when you multiply this times the minus 3 and the inner, so the outer and the inner, the these two add together to get your middle term. Okay? So now if we have this equation here and we want to, or this trinomial I should say, and we want to factor it, again my first step, and I, as, as I already said I use the trial and error method, is just to put down my brackets because I know I'm going to have two factors. Then I ask myself, okay, what what here and here multiplied together will give me 3s squared? Well, I know it's 3 times 1. So I'm just going to put my 3s here and an s here. Now, next step is I say, all right, I go to the last piece here, and I say, what times what is going to give me a 3? Well, I know it's 3 times 1. But I'm also noticing my 10 here. So if I put my 3 here, the 3 will be multiplied by the 3, which will give me 9. Get me a little bit closer to 10. If I put my 3 here, this will end up being 3 times 1, if I, because I'll have a 3 here and a 1 here. That's not necessarily going to work for me. So then I'm thinking to myself that I should put the 3 here. So I put the 3 there, and I put the 1 there. Again, not really sure if this is going to work, but we'll see. Then I look at my signs. I see that I have a plus 3 here, so that means that those two signs are the same. I'm also noticing the minus 10, so that tells me those two signs are probably negative. So then I put in my minus there, put in my minus there. I do my check, and we already know that this is our answer because that's where we started. But it's always a good idea to check, right? So now let's try some other questions here. So first one, 2t squared minus 15t plus 7. So again, just starting with the brackets. Then I ask myself, okay, what times what here will give me 2t squared? So I'm just going to put my 2t here and my t there, all right? Then I go to this one and I say, what times what here will give me 7? Well, I know it's 7 times 1. If I put the 7 here, I'll have 7 times 2t, which will give me 14, which is pretty close to the 15. So I'm thinking the 7 is probably going to go there. If I put the 7 here and the 1 there, then the 1 times 2t will give me 2, and I don't know that that's helpful. So then I'm choosing to put the 7 there. 
Now I could be wrong, but I'm going to try it. Then I put the 1 there. Now I have to figure out what the signs are. We notice that there's a plus 7, so that means these two signs have to be the same. They're either both positive or both negative. I notice the minus 15, so then I'm thinking they're probably negative. I'm going to put in a negative. Now I check, because I could be wrong. So 2t times t is 2t squared. 2t times minus 7 is minus 14t. Minus 1 times t is minus t. And minus 1 times minus 7 is plus 7. So I end up with 2t squared minus 15t plus 7. Bingo. Okay? All right, so let's go on to the next one. So 4x squared minus 21x plus 5. So again, start with two brackets. Excuse me. <coughs> Ask yourself what times what will give me this. Now, the thing about this is that I'm noticing the 21. So then I'm saying, well, you know, 4 times 5, that's pretty close to the 21. So I'm going to guess that I'm not going to use a 2 and a 2 here. Maybe I should use the 4. Just see what happens, okay? So I'm going to put a 4x here and an x here. Now, for the last for the last number here, which is this times this, this piece times this piece, I only have the option of 5 and 1. But I'm thinking the 5 should go here because the 5 will eventually be multiplied by the 4 and that will give me a 20, which is pretty close to this. So again, I could put the 5 there, but I'm not sure that that's going to work. So I'm going to put the 5 there and see what happens. So 5 and 1. Now I have to figure out what the signs are. I notice that I have a plus 5, so that means these two signs are the same. But I'm also noticing the minus 21, so I'm assuming the signs are minus. So then again, I multiply through, so 4x Sorry, 4x times x is 4x squared. And then 4x times minus 5 is minus 20x. And this one is minus x. And here we have plus 5. So we have 4x squared minus 21x plus 5. Bingo. Okay? <coughs> All right, next question. Again, start with the brackets. And I'm just going to make it simple for myself. I know that 5 times 1 will give me 5, so I'm putting a 5L here and an L here. Now I have a 3 here, so this number times this number will give me a 3. I'm noticing that if I put the 3 here, and if, when it's multiplied by that, it'll get me a 15, which is pretty close to 14. So then I think, okay, I'm just going to put the 3 here and put the 1 there. Now I see that I have a negative 3, so that tells me these two signs are different. So then I think, all right, so if I put the minus in front of the 1, I'll end up with a minus L, and this will have to be a positive 15. So I'm thinking that the minus might go in front of, yeah, let's just do it this way. So minus and plus, let's do that. So then we multiply through and we see that we have 5L squared and then 
minus 15L. This is a plus L and minus 3. So right away, we see that this is a minus 14L. So that tells us that the sign's in the wrong place. So then all you do is move the sign. So 5L plus 1, whoops, 5L minus 1 times L plus 3. That is supposed to be a minus. It's not really obvious. So 5L minus 1 times L plus 3. So again, multiplying here, we have 5L squared plus 15L. And then here we have minus L. And then this multiplication, we have minus 3. So then we end up with 5L squared plus 14L minus 3. And there we are. Okay. So this, these are our factors, 5L minus 1 times L plus 3. And last question. Again, just starting with the brackets. And 7x squared comes there, so I'm going to go with a 7x here and an x here. <coughs> so then I'm looking at this one. I know if I put a 5 there, that 5 will eventually be multiplied by the 7, and I'll end up with 35x, which is pretty high. It's going to get a long ways away from my minus 12. So then I'm thinking maybe I won't put the 5 there. Maybe I'll put the 5 here and see what happens. So 5 goes there, the 1 goes there. Now I'm noticing that I have a positive sign here, so I always look at this sign first. That tells me those two signs are the same. And I have a negative here. So I'm guessing the signs have got to be both negative. So then what I do is I do my check. So 7x times x is 7x squared. 7x times minus 1 is minus 7x. And then we have minus 5x and plus 5. So 7x squared minus 12x plus 5. Bingo. Okay? There you go. That's it. So it's not too bad, and again, you have to be willing to struggle a little bit with this stuff, which I know is hard sometimes, but it pays off in the end. And that has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a really good day.